Greetings, fellow YouTubers. Irv Lindsay here. How's it going? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I've got a notebook here. I got some pictures in it. I'm here at the. Uh, I'm here at the corner of Liberty and Central Parkway. The Warner Brothers building is there. The old Boys and Girls Clubs is right there. And uh, you know, I've been searching long and hard for the western entrance to Liberty Station, the abandoned Cincinnati subway. Years ago, this is kind of what this looked like. This is a northern view looking northwards. Uh, this is what it looks like today, but this is a southern view. Um, now there was um, there is a street just on the other side of the Warner Brothers building called Logan Street. And years ago there was a family, I believe they were called the Zeller, Z-E-H-L-E-R, Zeller. They lived in a house on Logan Street and they own a meat packing company. Um, and Logan Street today, you guys will know, that's over where Finley Market is. One of the parking lots for Finley Market is there and there's an old house there. It's been used for a number of things over the years. But this family lived in that house and they operated a factory um, right here on Logan Street back when Central Parkway was a canal. And the reason why this is important is because you can see it in the background of a lot of the old photographs taken of this area when they were building the um, subway. Right here, you see the Boys and Girls Clubs behind, Boys and Girls Club building behind me. That is a location of the old Zeller's Provision Company from years ago, uh, and it used to be right there. And there is, of course I've got a different camera with a different lens and everything on it, but it used to be at about this same angle. So there's the Provision Company right there, and it used to be right there where I'm, where I'm pointing now right there past where that gray SUV is pulling up. Right over there. That used to be where it was at. Now why is that important? Because you see these guys here, they're standing in front of the portal to Liberty Station. The, the stairs that go down. And so if, if we line everything up, then the stairs for Liberty Station should be right here. beneath our feet. So years ago they would have filled it in and uh, walled it up. I've seen pictures of it and you can see a brick wall where it used to be. But I'm not done showing you photos yet. Let's look at some more photos. There is a photo of the platform. You can see light streaming in from the outside. Today this has a brick wall in front of it. Uh, looking down the platform at Liberty Station. Um, you see all the sunlight coming in. The sunlight was coming in from vents in the road. Um, and here's another shot of Liberty Station looking, looking, I uh, believe we're looking southward down the platform and you can see all that light streaming in that vent. That's because they weren't sure whether or not they were going to use um, steam engines or electric engines or not. They, they wouldn't admit that at the time, but they were. And, um, so that, that, what that would have looked like, what that would have looked like at the time was, um, was this, right in the middle of the intersection. Now you notice this intersection has no stripes, it has no stoplights, it has no, no signs. This is when, this is when Central uh, Parkway was brand new. They didn't know what to do with cars, and they, they didn't know what to do with this type of stuff yet, so cars just kind of roamed free, and the rule was don't hit anybody. It's really interesting looking at the before and after photos of intersections, especially uh, along the subway, and I've got one more for you before we leave, and hopefully you saw the video I did on it a, f a few weeks back at the beginning of the fall. The Chatfield College building. Part of the Chatfield College building uh, is very old. You see the Chatfield College building is right there. You see that? It's very unique. You can see those little crosses on the top and bottom of it. 
I'm having a hard time seeing it in my viewfinder because it's very bright out here. Uh, the, anyway, you can see that same building with the, the crosses on the tops and the bottom of it is still here today and here's the same view of the same intersection right there. And you can see the Chatfield College building right over there, right? See that? Has the same crosses on the top of it as in this photo from years ago. Years ago it was the uh, Center for the Blind. It was kind of like a disabilities area and uh, they had all sorts of other stuff going on. I won't pretend to know what they did there. But uh, watch the other video. Uh, I think I talk about it more in that other video. All right, I've kind of jumped across the street now. We're in front of the old Warner Brothers building. I did a video on it a while back. Well, what's important about the Warner Brothers building, and you probably drive by it all the time and you don't even know it, is right in front of it is the eastern portal, the eastern entrance to the outbound station that went north to uh, Brighton's Corner and Brighton Station, which you'll see in a different video. Unlike the other, uh, unlike the other entrances to all the other stations, this one was turned into a fallout shelter back in the 50s. So instead of completely covering it up and leaving only one hatch, uh, one little s s tiny hatchway, they left the entire platform open and just covered it up. Now guys, this uh, this doesn't open. It's welded shut at the, uh, you can see there, that's permanently closed. What their reason was, they've done, with, done this with all the openings, They're all, they've all been welded shut. Uh, they used to do tours and let people in, they don't do that anymore. I don't know why, you have to ask them. Um, so that's it, Irv Lindsay coming at you with another adventure vlog video standing on top of the western entrance, the inbound portal entrance to Liberty Station, now sealed up, covered over and filled in, I believe. Uh, if you like this video, you want to see more like it, click like and subscribe. Uh, if you're on YouTube, head over to Facebook, facebook.com slash Irv Lindsay. You can get more there. I have uh, often do updates that I don't put on face uh, on YouTube. Also, if you're on Facebook, head over to YouTube, youtube.com slash IrvTV, uh, and uh, get regular updates. Click subscribe there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your week. Keep fighting the good fight, and I'll see you in the next video.